Moin Moin and welcome to Ralf's Fotobude and Ralf's Fotoflug. Yeah, after my last videos about the Phantom 2 Vision, some of the viewers ask me what stuff I have here at my uh, holder of the remote control. Um, some of the parts I showed you in the videos before, that's the, um, the part here to um, tilt the camera. And this one is a um, Wi-Fi repeater to get a little bit more distance for the first person view. Talking about the first person view today, I want to show you what's here in this compartment under the holder. And that's my first person eyeglass. It's a size cinemizer. Um, and there are some good reasons why I use the size cinemizer. And that's what I want to explain to you today. First of all, if you want to use the size cinemizer, you need a uh, smartphone or a tablet which has an AV out or an HDMI out. In my case, I use an iPad because the iPad has the HDMI adapter here and you can put the, um, the electronic of the size cinemizer directly in the HDMI connector and you have the picture um, directly um, in the uh, eyeglass here. Um, if you have another device, you have to look if there's an, an output. Um, one thing, if you have an uh, iPhone, they offer adapters for the Cinemizer for the iPhone, but they won't work. The reason is because the iPhone has a video output, and this video output is only for um, apps which has a special video output, and the Phantom app doesn't have this. The difference between the iPhone and the iPad is when you use the HDMI adapter of the iPad, you get the whole screen in the Cinemizer. So if you are out of the app uh, of the Phantom app, you will see the icons, you will see everything which is which happens here on the screen, and that's the reason why you can use the Cinemizer with the iPad, but not with the iPhone. So if you have an Android uh, device, you have to check if you have an uh, HDMI or AV output to get the analog signal because with the Cinemizer comes an adapter also for an analog signal. The question why I use the Cinemizer, when you first make, when the, you know, when you make the first first person fuse with, a, with these eyeglasses, it's a little bit irritating because you can't check the distance, you're a little bit unsafe about the distance and the Cinemizer has a big advantage because if you if you are going to use a fat shark, you know the fat shark is also for the first person view, the fat sharks are close. They cover your, your the complete eye so you don't have the contact to the uh, phantom, you can't see the phantom, your face is, or your, your eyes are totally covered. And that's the difference to the Cinemizer. When you use the Cinemizer, you will see that you can look over the Cinemizer here and you can look under the Cinemizer. So you have the full control of the vision and you have the full control during the start, during the landing and also during the flight. In several countries, um, like in Germany, it's forbidden to fly only with an FP fee. You have to have the contact to the uh, copter or you have to have a spotter who looks after the um, copter and that's the regulatory and the, the issue in Germany. Um, in other countries, uh, it's, it may be allowed to fly only with uh, FP we. If you have a spotter and um, like today we have a lot of sun and the sun is very bright, you may want to have a little bit more clear picture than the size cinemizer and therefore they have these eye shield at this part here and you can click this one in a second on the cinemizer like this and then when you put the cinemizer on you have the complete eye covered you have an absolutely clear picture perfect picture and perfect view so that's the option if you have a spotter and want to fly like a fat shark. Yeah, so that's that's for me, that's a good option. Um, and um, I like to fly with a Cinemizer because um, the, first, the first flights, as I said, it's 
not so easy to check the distance and to see everything where the where the where are trees and stuff like that and how high you are. Okay, so what do you have to do? We have the adapter, we have the cinemizer, start the cinemizer, then we have to start the phantom app, go into the phantom app, and just in this second you will see the picture here in the cinemizer. You have two um, dials to adjust the uh, dioptry correction and that's it. And it looks like this when you're flying. Start the app. Here's my vision. I start the camera. And now, as you can see, I can look under the cinemizer to the Phantom to check if everything goes perfect when I start now. Here we are. Now I can check the picture here. Picture is perfect. And now we can start. So now I see the vision under the eyeglass. And in the eyeglass I have the view of the camera. And that's absolutely perfect for the first flight. I have the control over the vision. And I have the picture here in the cinemizer. Also during the landing it's very good because you have the sight over the cinemizer to the copter and can follow the landing procedure very good. Okay, so that's the size cinemizer which I showed you today. My first first uh, first person view um, gear. Um, I showed you the advantages of, of the uh, size cinemizer. In a, another video on my YouTube channel, I will show you some more options with the size cinemizer because you can use it also for mirrorless cameras, DSLRs and camcorders. Um, instead of the, um, the LCD monitor on the back side, especially on days like this when you have bright, side, bright sun and you won't see a lot on the uh, screen, it's a very good help to use the Cinemizer because you have a perfect view of your scene. So if you like my uh, movie, give me a like here, leave some nice comments. Um, thank you for watching and till every time I say moin moin and bye bye.